Hello, so I made a cityscape background in Clip Studio Paint by hand and I want to share some tips and tricks about how I did it. So first I just do a simple sketch out with the pen and fill bucket tool. Then I do the basic shapes of the buildings. Each value of buildings is on a separate layer. How I did the windows was the dashed line tool in Clip Studio and a lot and a lot of copy and pasting. <laughs> To get the light look, I made a separate layer and clipped it to the layer below and basically just filled in the colors with darker values and lighter values. Now I'm just adding details on the Magdagir sign is what I want the main focus point to be. Uh, I just did a text box and went over it with an overlay layer. I copy and pasted the folder and flipped it so it would reflect on the building. Since you can't really flip a text box, I had to go in and flip it myself manually. Throughout the process, you might see me uh, putting in colors and that's just me figuring out if I want to do an overlay layer or a gradient map for the final coloring. Now I'm just adding more and more details. Keep in mind that for most of these, I'm just adding new layers and clipping it to the buildings below. For each quote unquote layer of buildings, you want to make sure that you're getting lighter and lighter in value to show distance. On to the foreground, I'm redoing it from the sketch in the beginning and the fence is just done with lines and copy and pasting. Now to do the reflections on the platform, I had to do it manually because I had just so many layers that I couldn't just copy and paste it if I wanted to. And I did a motion blur for the windows. Now I'm going in and adding in some fog in between building layers just to give it some atmosphere and kind of that city feel. And of course, I have to put in a crane and just some lines, just to give it some extra pizzazz, I guess. And the toothpaste billboard, a classic. Now, what I just did here was a gradient map. I chose and adjusted every color myself, the darker tones being the dark blue and the lighter tones being neon colors such as aqua and magenta. Then to give it some finishing touches, I basically just went around adding a bunch of different squares and fogs and doing either glow dodge or add glow. And then a multiply layer near the corners to give it a more atmospheric look. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for taking your time and watching this. Believe me, I know just how daunting a background piece like this can be. I've watched so many speed paints of Photoshop and whatever and use all these pictures from Google or whatever. It's like, I have no idea how to do that, but I just put my mind to it and just did a lot of copying and pasting. So, and yeah, that's it. Uh, feel free to like, subscribe, you know, the whole, whole gist. So.